Ooh, <laughs> long day. Look at the hair. Like you could tell, I've been working hard over here on this stuff. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, okay, so I thought I would like do some of the movies. There's a bunch of the music and uh, favorite movies that I remember from those times. And you know, feel free to put your favorite movies too, because I'm like a big movie buff. So let me before I start on the movies thing. Let's be perfectly clear. Movies became my living place, my happy Gilmore land, my fantasy. It was a way of escaping by looking into the box or going to a show, which you all know that I love drama. But could you just imagine somebody with my brokenness and then seeing this wonderful fantasy on, on the screen? Yeah, I'm there. I'm like, there used to be a movie called Tron where the guy got sucked in. Well, I, I was probably like emotionally sucked in. <laughs> so with that said, let's talk about some of the movies that I really, really liked. My Graham took me to Radio City Music Hall to see the Rockettes. And um, they had a movie before or after, I can't remember, they kind of trimmed down the shows as it got more and more crowded. But we saw Babes in Toyland with Annette Funicello. Oh, she was, you know, it was, it's a simple movie, that, but it's beautiful colors when it's right there. And for some reason this year, uh, whatever year that was, my gram had gotten tickets right up front where I could see the orchestra raising up. They had this motorized floor where the orchestra came up and went down. And uh, my seat was right there. Cram rocked, man. She, I think she was trying to compensate for all the hell I was going through. And, uh, you know, hence made me a little spoiled here and a little crazy over there. <laughs> anyway, so... Babes in Toyland right in front of me. Dun, 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 dun. And that, if you've never been to Radio Music City Hall, you need to go. They keep it up. So like, it's good. I hope it'll be there forever. But the, the, um, staircase that goes to the upper balconies is grand. I mean, grand on the scale of like, a, a, a beautiful, beautiful auditorium with the staircase that goes up. That maybe a queen could even walk down and make look like she's right at home. I mean, like seriously, it's so. And I first time I ever went to a restroom where there was a lady in there that would fluff your hair for you and give you a cloth. And oh, it was just dust. Like coming from what I came from, you know, with little insects and crazy fathers and, you know, all that nutty stuff. And then to walk in this elegant, clean, wonderful, majestic place and then to see the show and then watch them raise up out of there and then watch the Rockettes. Hello. Big, big memory. Great fantasy, great way to escape the world. <laughs> That's why I love theater, I guess. So, okay, that was one. Well, I took three minutes on that one. Must have been important. <laughs> um, then a movie came out called King of Kings, which was the big deal at the time. And that impacted my faith, of course. Let me, I'm looking at all. <gasps> one movie I saw that I should have never saw, I wish I could unsee, was a movie called Psycho. Woo! And I don't think my mother knew it was going to be that bad and was on television. And she let me stay up late to watch it with her. And no, never took a shower alone. Ever. When I stay in a hotel, the chair goes up against the door. I'm like this. <laughs> never should have watched that one. Let me see what else I wrote down. <gasps> Pollyanna. Oh, Pollyanna. Haley Mills. I played Pollyanna. I related to Pollyanna. I couldn't even tell you why, but a great movie. Mary Poppins, of course. The Wizard of Oz, of course. Let me see. Um, saw some Jerry Lewis movies. I love Jerry Lewis at the drive-in. We saw a lot of them. <gasps> okay, so 1968, 67, The Graduate. <laughs> Talk about that was the time when all the music was changing. Movies were changing, too. The Graduate. Oh, my gosh. All right. So let's see. Um, Space Odyssey. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. I do not like what you're doing. 
the robot and the guy. And now it's realistic AI stuff, right? This could really happen. <laughs> I think the computer's name was Hal, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, that was kind of scary. Uh, let's see, what else? Spartacus, that we saw that at the drive-in. Swiss Family Robinson, saw that at the drive-in. Okay, my dad's favorites, of course, James Bond. <laughs> Shaken, not stirred. Delegate condition. Let's see what else. Oh, uh, Planet of the Apes and that whole series. Oh my gosh. This was like a, an alter world. <laughs> um, Sound of Music, of course. Uh, I think that might be... Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Pink Panther. <laughs> yep, great movie. My Fair Lady. Um, the cartoon version of Jungle Book. Uh, I think that's all of them. I just really wanted to kind of say stuff about, the, oh, 1969, talk about the world changing. Easy Rider. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> and Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid came out in 1969 too. Okay, so I got all them done in six minutes. And how I, I love movies. I, you know, my life had lots of ookies. And even nowadays, well, I watch the whole Avengers thing, including, you know, Endgame 1 and Endgame 2. I still love movies. I still love the fantasy and the special effects and everything else. And so I just want to name off some of the movies from that time. Real quick one. No emotions in this because I got to go and do the 8th grade graduation one again because that got a little tear jerky. So that will be the last one of the day. I'm hyper to hyper let's see, hyper producing today. Does that make sense? Because <laughs> I didn't do any over the Easter weekend. All right, I'm out. I'm not going to say goodnight and God bless, but I'll say in a minute and God bless. <laughs>